your country is being transformed. And here is the president on the latest transformational effort. Listen to this. So these families have been endured a shattering tragedy. This is this weekend. It ought to be a shock to all of us as a nation and as a people. Shootings. It ought to obsess us. Obsess us. It ought to lead to some sort of transformation. 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 Hmm. hmm. That's what happened in other countries when they experienced similar tragedies. Oh, yes, oh. it did. Germany is one of them. In the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. in Germany. Australia. Russia. Germany. Just a single mass shooting occurred in those countries. They understood that there was nothing ordinary about this kind of carnage. Right. They endured great heartbreak, but they also mobilized and they changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mass shootings became a great rarity. Stop, just a second. So it didn't abolish them. It became a great rarity. He is so halted in this, he knows that all of this is a lie. First of all, I'm warning you, why is he doing this? He's pushing for gun control while Kenya um, had shooters go in, terrorists, and they went into a mall and they ask everybody, are you a Muslim? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, you can leave. Are you a Muslim? Yes, I am. What's the Prophet Muhammad's mother's name? Uh, Gladys? Bertha? Suzanne. Gladys or Sus Susan? Susan. Buffy? Yeah, no, it, and they were killed. Okay. 59 people. The, the hot, They still have hostages. Well, these, um, well, these... What was the correct answer? I don't know. I looked for it this morning. I couldn't okay. find it. I thought we should look it up. <laughs> well, Jeffy, look it up. Something you should, should know just it. in we case. Yeah. It. It's like who won the 1961 World <laughs> yeah. Series. Yeah. Um, okay, so the, the hostage situation is still going on. I think there were 12 or 15 of these uh, terrorists. Three have been confirmed to be from the United States of America. But the blaze has learned, and we're not comfortable confirming this... The Blaze has learned that there are three others that are suspected to be from the United States. So it may be that half of them came from the United States of America. So what happens when we go to war? Well, I'll tell you what happens when we go to war. We start having shootings like this done by Muslim extremists, done by leftists. And what happens? The president says, we are clamping down. We're getting these guns off the street because everybody else that has any kind of common sense has already done it. And you know that's the answer. And I'm just going to take the steps to do it to protect the American people because we're at war. And that is where he is headed. Yeah, that's what he's setting up. Here. That's what he's setting up. And yet here in the United States, after the round of clock coverage on cable news, mm -hmm. after the heartbreaking interviews with families what a after lie. all the speeches and all the punditry and all the commentary oh. nothing happens You're right we we must insist here today there's nothing normal about innocent men and women being gunned down where they work we, uh, okay, stop for just a second. Jeffy, will you admit there's nothing normal about being gunned down at work? <laughs> yes, there's yeah. nothing normal about um, that. We, we have to admit this. Pat, will you admit that there's nothing normal about being gunned down yes, at work? Yes, would you, Stu, would you agree that there's nothing normal? No. I will <laughs> not won't? agree with that. Stu, I you're a hard... absolutely will oh, not no. admit that it's not normal to be gunned down at work. You horrible no, person. No, I'm taking a stand. Oh I'm gosh. one of the ones in the way. I'm an obstructionist GOP member who's denying that it's normal to be gunned down. And Forget it. I, d I want people to say once and for all, it's normal to be shot at work. There you go. There's your straw man, there Mr. President. Now you have one. <laughs> now you have someone who actually said what you say people say I mean, all the how time. How ridiculous is this? Oh, we have to pathetic. finally admit. Well, first of all, just statistically, it's not even close to being normal. No. Nobody accepts that. Yeah. It's not happening. It's not normal. We know it. There are certain trends that happen, and we can look at those. ARs are not part of that trend. If you look at the stats on rifles and ARs, how many are actually used in violent shooting? What is it? Point. It's it's uh, rifles are used uh, without murdering someone in at least ninety nine point nine nine seven percent of call cases. So, so it's, it's point zero zero three percent. Yeah, uh, and it's one out of three hundred and fifty four thousand rifles 
is used. Okay, so that's all rifles. That's just yeah. not, yeah, a, not, just that's not AR, which is just a style. That's all that is, right. is the way it looks. You can go and you can have them made of carbon and you can have them, you could have them pink. It's just the way it looks. That's it. So we're talking about rifles. So it's point zero zero three percent of all murders are happening with a rifle. That's as high as it can be, by the way. That's uh, that's an argument. It's actually lower than that, surely. I mean, but. that is insane. Yeah. So, Mr. President, I would say that statistically speaking, point zero zero three percent of all murders is not normal. You're right. It's not. And I wish you would finally admit that. There's nothing normal about our children being gunned down in their classrooms. No, we agree can. with that. There's nothing normal about children dying in our streets from stray bullets. Oh, oh my gosh. No hmm. other advanced nation endures this kind of violence. Stop. None. No other advanced nation endures this kind of violence. None. Really? Yeah, I mean, there's so many issues with that. First of all, you, he's defining advanced in... And the only countries he's counting as advanced are the ones that do better than us in these statistics. Mm -hmm. Well, of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. And secondly, he's... Because uh, there's plenty of countries, hundreds of countries that do worse. Over 100 countries that do worse. It, but he's just counting none of those as advanced. The other part of that is, he's not when he says this type of violence, well, I mean, I don't know what that means. What do you mean, this kind of violence? Mass uh, shootings? I mean, really? Or more? I don't know. Yeah. Would you say that Israel is an advanced nation? Yeah, yeah, I would. Would you say that? Because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I mean, like, that's the thing. Like, they get hit with rockets. So, yeah, I guess this type of violence. And, and, can... and blown up on buses. Yeah, is that is that better? Uh, you know what Israel should do? Israel should ban bombs. Hmm. That's a good idea. Israel they should, should ban bombs. They should thought have thought of that. You shouldn't Man. be able to... Listen to this. So listen to how stupid. easy... My gosh, I never thought of this. If you would just make... If Israel would just pass a law to make it illegal for a citizen to go into... Uh, or non-citizen. Yeah, or non-citizen, just to go into a rocket store mm -hmm. and to... Bu or go to a... You know, go to... <laughs> think of this you know they have these they have these rocket get-togethers on the weekends mm -hmm. where you can just go into this this you know just a field where they've just set up all these rockets like a rocket show yeah and you could just yeah. go in exactly you Ben. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they just you just go and you can just buy a, a rocket mm -hmm. without any kind of background check mm -hmm. if they would just ban bombs and rockets and close the rocket show loophole in Israel, mm. it would be fine. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. They haven't, though. They don't do that <laughs> so because easy. there's an obstructionist party over there that uh, gets in the way. They I won't know. even admit that getting hit by a rocket isn't normal. I know. <laughs> it's the Likud party. They're to blame. Mm -hmm. Here in America, the murder rate is three times what it is in other developed nations. In mm. other developed nations. The murder rate with guns is ten times ten what times. it is in other developed nations. Other developed nations. It's, that is the biggest asterisk. It. Yeah, <laughs> it's the. We country. cover all of this. We cover yeah. all of this in the book control. We yeah, cover all of that. this. It comes about because of decisions we make or fail to make. I've said before. Oh boy, yeah. yes. there he goes. We cannot stop every act of senseless violence. But, but here's the thing. But, but here's, here's the thing. We cannot know every evil that no. lurks in no, the No, but, but, but we can't even... But. Hang on, stop for a second. We can't even know the evil that le lurks in his heart. Right. We can't even figure that one out. With all the stuff that's going on mm -hmm. and all the transformation talk, we can't even figure out the evil that lurks in that man's heart. How are we going to figure it out from everybody else? <laughs> but if we can prevent even... One tragedy. Just like one. This? If we one. So if if we just can prevent one. even one. Just one. Isn't it worth it to to, to can I tell you something? throw the constitution you, into the fire? Do you know the most dangerous appliance in everybody's home? <laughs> most dangerous say, appliance in everybody's home. Um, you it, know this. I've said this before. You don't remember this? This is because it's such an amazing the, stat. The dishwasher. Oh yeah. That's because true. people put their forks and their knives. And they point them up instead of pointing down. And so people will fall on their dishwasher and they'll, they'll be stabbed to death. Mm -hmm. Okay. The most dangerous appliance in your home is the dishwasher. Let me tell you something, America. Banna. 
if we can just stop one senseless dishwasher death a year, mm-hmm. just one, isn't, it worth, just, it? isn't it worth it to wash just wash your own, your own dishes? Wash your own dishes. How hard is it to just wash your just own wash dishes? Just wash your own it's dishes. So it's such a bad. This oh oh, if you gosh. can prevent one is such a bad oh argument my. that no adult should no adult. ever make. And the fact oh, that they let this guy, they let him get away with this. This if is an insane argument. Stop once, just once. 